Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to day uh, 13 of our 21 day abs challenge. Uh, so I hope you're all feeling great and I hope you're all feeling excited. So uh, let's get a, a, to kind of like burn the in 10 minutes to burn this tummy as much as we can. So let's go. One foot is going to be here. The other hand is going to be here. If you need to support your neck, support it on the other side. And we're just going to literally bring it up and down. Okay, you follow. We're not going to do it with the time. I'm actually just going to see how much is going to burn me, which I was thinking, hopefully it's going to burn you. So it's all going to be so much better. So you can even like bring it like this with the knee, or the mind, do whatever you want, or basically just like tap. Support it if you need it, or not, just carry on. Come on, keep rotating. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, excellent. Now you're going to extend that leg and then you're going to bring the knee. I'm going to support because my neck started to twinge. So if you need it as well, just do it. So when you drop the leg down, try to control that your uh, lower back is staying on the ground. So you're not kind of like tilting this way. I don't know if you can see it. So we arching the back, keep it down. Keep going. If your neck hurts, you can literally keep your head down and you can literally just come forward and then back. Come forward if twisting is hard. Come on, three more. Two, the last one. Okay, excellent. Now you're going to have the straight leg and now you're going to come forward and back. Forward and back. Keep that back down when you're dropping those legs. That, that leg on the floor. Come on, keep going. The last five, four, <coughs> three, two, and the last one. Okay, excellent. Oh God, this is like burning already. Okay, so let's go. So off the other side. Let's go. Touch, touch, touch. So I hope you all had. A great week and now you are feeling all completely pumped to keep working out come on squeeze the tummy the last five four three two and the last one okay excellent extend the leg you can support the neck if you need it. Keep that pelvis down and let's go. Bring the knee in. Twist. So let me know. It would be really great to know if you've noticed any difference. So if you've been doing these workouts on a regular basis for the last 12, 13 days, if you're noticing any difference, especially like you feel like maybe your eating patterns have changed the way you think about food last three did i push myself two the last one okay excellent let's go straight up so pump back pump keep that pelvis down don't tilt it the other way come on crunch those chests towards your knee the last five four three two the last one oh my god okay excellent now you're going to go on the side plank you're going to drop just the back the bottom knee down because we need to have this other leg to be kind of higher up you're going to have the arms are literally are straight up above my head and you're going to crunch and then open crunch because I'm not watching my whole video, so I don't know if I've done any of the exercises like this. Come on, the last five. Yeah, three, and two, and the last one. Okay, excellent. Now you're going to stay in the side plank or you're going to go into full plank. You're going to full plank, open the arms, and let's go under and open, under and open. <coughs> Pardon me. Three more. Oh, my feet are slipping. Two.
two. The last one. And drop down. Let's go to the other side. It's difficult when you've done the workout before this one. Uh, so if any of you are doing this as an additional to your workouts, how cool is that? Yes, so uh, basically when it comes to working out time, I'll always say start small and then build up from there rather than another way. Because if you don't have a habit of working out, you will literally feel like put off quite quickly if you go full blast into working out. Three more, two, the last one. Okay, excellent. Oh my goodness. So now we're going to go into full plank. We're just staying halfway and we're going to go um, this Pilates one. I always, always, always forget. Uh, sewing needle, thread needle, needle thread, <laughs> something like that. Come on, keep those hips up. The last three, two, last one, and hold five, four, three, two, one, push down. Okay, excellent. Let's go again. Ugh. These ones. Come on, let's go. Now we're going to add on. Come on, you can do this. If I can do this, you can do it too. Come on, touch, touch. So you basically, because you're doing now 10 minutes, just think about really do as much as you can. Three more, two, the last one. Okay, excellent. Extend the leg, you're going to literally bring the straight leg and down. Keep those abs tight all the time. Support the neck if you need it. Come on. Ha ha. Keep going, I can feel the burn now. Come on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, excellent. You're going to come up into sitting position. Up into sitting position. You can extend that leg. You're just going to hold in here. You can drop the leg and then you're just going to come towards. If you're having a back pain, just drop it down to bicycle legs. And we're going to go five, four, three, two, one, oof, swap the other side. Ready? Go. Go, go, go. You're right. Keep going. Come on. Touch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, excellent. Extend the leg, straight leg, and let's go. Touch. Touch. Come on, keep those abs tight. Come on, the last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so bicycle legs, or you're going to hold this leg and let's go crunch, crunch crunch squeeze that tummy so bicycle legs this is like obviously because of the the back come on last five four three two and one okay excellent now because we have last minute and a half we're going to do hands here um, if I if I if you see me like doing the wobble that means like my, my coccyx is funny. Okay, ready? Let's go. Kick the legs. If this if you if you need an alternative, you can basically do these ones. Ready? Okay, we're going to do as many as we can last in it. Come on. If you're having let's say problems like me, I've literally got really bad like this like bony bit here. I don't know, it's more after birth. So you can double the mat if you want to. Keep going, come on. I need to double the mat. Triple the mat. On my bum. Yeah, much better. Come on. Also, 
So sometimes if you're doing full sit-ups and if you're having if you're having bones in your back, that's not good because they might rub. I remember like when I was younger, I was doing like 200 sit-ups, like full sit-ups. Ah, keep going, come on. Come on, we're nearly done. Oh my God, seven seconds. Come on, keep going. Three, oof. Come on, come on, last one. Oh, okay, excellent, well done. 10 minutes, done, smashed it. Excellent, day 13. Um, make sure you keep going, uh, keep the momentum, keep uh, keep somehow as kind of like your motivation in your head, kind of what is driving you forward.